Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Sai. I'm a graphic artist, a tattooer, but I'm also a passionate backyard barbecuer. Today I'm stoked to have a play on the new Weber Smokefire. And what I'm gonna have a go at today is some Texas style beef short ribs with a side of broccoli. So when you're buying your beef ribs, what you're looking for is a lot of meat on the bone, not too much fat above the fat seam because that can potentially just be throwaway meat and the more marbling, the better. Okay, so your first step with your preparation of your beef ribs is to flip them over, pull off the membrane on the bone side, then flip them over and trim off all the fat and the silver skin down to the meat. Now that we've trimmed up our beef ribs, I'm gonna add a binding layer of mustard. It just helps the whatever rub you use bind to the meat and also gives it an extra dimension of flavor once they're cooked. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna coat our ribs in a 50-50 mix of coarsely ground salt and pepper. So now these are ready to go into the barbecue, we're gonna put them in at 250 Fahrenheit. You can use Celsius, but Fahrenheit just sounds way cooler. So we're gonna put these in bone side down. Okay guys, so why our beef ribs are smoking away, we're gonna get sorted on one of our sides. So today we're gonna to start chopping up some fresh veggies and we're gonna create our chunky avocado and broccoli broccoli. So first thing, we're gonna take our avocado, we're gonna cut it in half, remove the pip, then we're gonna slice it like a chessboard so that when we scoop it out, it stays in chunks. Then after that, we're gonna finely dice our red onion and our tomato at about the same chunkiness. So the ratio I like to go for this salsa is 50% avocado, 50% other ingredients. And you can change up the tomato and onions to personal taste. Once you've got your solid ingredients in, then we're gonna give it a good stir. Next, we're gonna finally dice up some fresh garlic. A little tip when you're doing your garlic, is just use the back of your knife with a little bit of salt and squash it a little bit. Basically semi-mincing it, just so that it's activating the garlic juices in there so it's gonna flavor your guacamole a bit better. Then we'll add our coriander, parsley, and mint. And another thing, guys, don't be scared of coriander. It doesn't taste like soap. Grow up. Next up, guys, we're just gonna give it a cheeky splash of some olive oil. Then we're going to add our lemon juice, our lime juice, and our salt and pepper to personal taste preference. I don't like to go too heavy on these as our beef ribs are gonna be seasoned also. Okay, so a little trick I like to do is once you've got your guacamole assembled, I like to chop up some raw broccoli and then add that to the mix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run the knife around the edges and smash off the florets. You don't do too much with the stalk, you can chop that up fine and add it if you like, but it is gonna make it a little bit too crunchy for my liking. If you give it a good mix, guys, you won't even know it was there. It's great for hiding extra veggies from your kids or your husbands. It pretty much doubles your serving sizes Broccoli's cheaper than avos and it gives it a beautiful crunch and a nutty taste. So now that we've got our salsa made guys, we're just gonna cover that now and stick it in the fridge. It'll last a couple of days if you don't smash it all with the ribs. Being in the tattoo industry, I've become really accustomed to this stuff. So our beef ribs are underway. What I'm gonna do is check on them every hour or so. And if they're looking a bit dry, I'm just gonna give them a spritz with some water. Okay, so our beef ribs are finally ready. They've taken a bit longer than anticipated, but that's cool. Beef ribs are done when they're done. And what we're looking for is a nice bark and for them to probe like butter. So our ribs are probing awesome. I'm happy, I'm about to rip them out. We're gonna serve them with our awesome guacamole with the broccoli. And I mean, who doesn't love grabbing meat by the bone and just hooking in? I don't like to rest my beef ribs as I find they tighten up a little bit. I think they're best, especially with meat still on the bone, slice them up and serve them almost straight away. And I mean, it's just simple. It's beautiful, tasty beef with a little bit of love. 